A big shout out to Stephen Kelly. He watches my channel. And look, he has an awesome, awesome setup. He's got John Deere. Uh, the same walk behind I have right up front with a matching stand on John Deere's ear turn behind it. There's a lot coming up in this video. It's been a toasty one, so hang on. What's up, everybody? My friend Jamie, look. He stopped and got me, brought me these two cold drinks. So how cool is that? Have a friend like that. Check out his... This new Raptor. And I'm gonna get a truck like this when I grow up. <laughs> up guys so in a few minutes um towards the later part of this video i'll show you exactly what it is this uh attachment that i got for the mower so you'll learn all about that here in a minute um but let's try and some cool angles with the grass or with the camera down the grass as you can see and trying out this new thing trying it on slopes and how it acts and all this different stuff um, like I said, I'll do like the walk around uh, last part of this video of like when I actually bought it and stuff. But I wanted to show some vlogging with it first. Shout out to All Around Guy. And actually there's a couple other people that have been uh, commenting saying that they would like to see some longer content. So I may, tr I may try that for a few weeks. Kind of like we're doing this week. I've actually, I might do like a, uh, what I'm thinking is like I'll get a lot of clips from all different properties. and maybe like once a week have like a big like you know uh my week in lawn care thing um i was trying to back it up on the trailer to see if that could work with velgi now you know i sanded all the pulleys and the clutch and everything and they're very smooth but i and i got a new belt on here and i was kind of concerned about see that little stripe up on the top part uh i don't know if it's something to really be concerned about or not but i mean i got the pulleys are real smooth and everything so i, I don't know but 
you know, y'all know how it goes. It's always something, right? <laughs> so I'm trying to, this front yard part of this yard is pretty flat. As you can see, this part right here is pretty sloped. It's hard to tell because the camera's right down on the ground, but this is this is a pretty pretty sloped area here. Pretty pretty strong. It kind of like slopes down. You see, and it has like kind of a little flattish flattish area down there. Um, and riding on the Velcro, when you're coming up here, even though I'm pulling up on the handles, you see it kind of wants to try. It's trying, even though I'm pulling up on the handles, it's kind of to hold it, you know, on the ground. You see, it's kind of wanting to wheelie all the time, just a little bit. Um, so, you know, that's not good, obviously, because then you're not you're not cutting the grass at the right at the right height. Um, so then I'm, you know, now I'm gonna start experimenting with going uh going sideways here and see what that's about uh with the with the new sulky and then um you know i'm gonna try that and it actually it turned out it turned out really good it's just me experimenting with this is literally my first day using it and um you know I actually used it a few more days after that on this uh on this video i'm sorry on this uh, week, which was this week that we're in right now, you know, I end up mowing with this mower for a few more days, so I was able to, you know, really get some time on. Just like anything, once you get used to it, you get better with it. Um, so I have, you know, I have been improving uh, with it a bunch, and so I'm really, really enjoying it. Actually, this uh, sulky is really awesome. Um, like I said, I'll I'll show you like walk through and stuff in it in a in a couple minutes. Um, but you know, wanted to show you a bunch of mowing with it because that's cool. Um, you know, vlogging with it. We're out here vlogging, doing our yards. Although mainly <laughs> showing a lot of just the mowing because I'm really trying to see how this sulky will perform. As you can see, I went sideways on this, and uh, you know, stripes look good. Um, now this is like on the other side of those shrubs, like on the same yard. And I tried it just with, a uh, pinching those pins and taking the sulky off. Now I want to show you in real time how long it takes to put it back on when it's off. And this is my first time doing it, so it'll be a little quicker when I do it another time. But this is literally my first time. You see that one, the left side locked in, got it locked in. Um, so I locked that in, so I'm trying to trying to kind of monkey with it to get it there we go right side locked in too so i think like i said i think i'll be quicker with it in the future it's just because you know i've never done it before um you know i'll be able to do it now this is i'm showing you this is a next house uh you see it's kind of tight right here there's an outdoor light there's a little steps right there so i'm trying to learn you know just taking it nice and slow navigating doing it, you know, without swinging this sulky into that fence, into that outdoor light, because that's something you got to pay attention to with this sulky, just like kind of like a walker mower. If it had a big box on it, like the mower's kind of long now. So even going along here, I have to be real careful. See, whoop, whoop, whoop. <laughs> hit pretty close to that, uh, that stonework. So that's definitely something to get used to. But um, as you use it, as I use it a couple more days, you kind of get used to as you like go into little little crevices like that you get used to just like going in the crevice and immediately backing up to give yourself more room that's kind of how you learn to do it when you have a walker mower too it's just another yard you see kind of like a slope down driveway here oh see these purple things they're beautiful flowers but man they are filled with bees so you come around here <laughs> i don't know if you can see a little speck flying the screen but like you know bees just bumblebees so they usually won't sting you most of the time but See, I'm trying this on this little slope, too. This is a pretty good slope. It's kind of hard to tell with this camera, but... Um, so I'm trying it just, like, with walking by it. Just kind of... What's up, guys? I got a huge mower upgrade I want to share with you guys. And then we're going to do a first mow together with it because I've never used it. I've never mowed with it at all. So, check it out. Check it out. I got the Havner Enterprises SW2006 in. Now... It's so cool because I had mentioned about getting possibly a caster sulky in some of my other uh, videos about the swalk behind. And there's a subscriber, and he lives in Georgia here, 
And he was like, he, he was going to sell it to me for, he, he had one and he was going to sell it to me for a great deal. Um, but the problem was he lives like kind of on the other side of the state. And then now with gas, like at 450 or whatever, it, even though he was going to sell it to me for a great price, it wouldn't have saved much money. You know, I paid 450 for this to my door. So it wouldn't have saved, it would have saved only like a hundred and some 120, 130 bucks to just buy a new one. So even though, so shout out to you my man that he was willing to do a, a great a great thing for me and he was willing to sell to me at a great price um and i i want to buy the one from him but when i actually ran the numbers it's like wow it's just it's crazy so shout out to you buddy i didn't ask his permission if i could share his name uh, here on the video but he knows who he is if he's listening to this so and y'all hit me up if you're in georgia and you may maybe he wants to sell it to one of y'all but anyway I've always wanted to try one of these, and so now I'm trying it. It's the SW2006N. You can like squeeze these right here. Um, you can just squeeze them and drop this off. You squeeze those together, and then this latches up. Um, but like y'all have told me, I feel like it's not going to be that practical to lift it up all the time because it, it is very heavy. Um, but, and another thing that I'm going to have to get used to is it's it's long with this on it. So... You know, if you're going up to like a flower bed or something, that thing, it's going to be long. It's going to want to swing over, swing way far out. Almost like you have a walker mower with that big box in the back. That's kind of exactly how this acts. So, enough rambling. Let's, um, uh, let's, let's do a, uh, a, my first mow ever with it. And I'll, it's hard to tell, but my weeds are actually growing a pretty good bit. This is where I used to have my rye grass, but see like the warm season grass is kind of filling in and it's time to mow it now, so. I'm going to set y'all up over here somewhere. What's up guys? So, as you can see right here, See, I'm almost like hitting the camera. I'm having to like adjust back up a little bit. I really think I'll get used to it pretty quickly, but just like if you had a walker mower like with a bagger on it, you gotta swing that thing wide. And, and as you can see, I'm not really able, you know, I'm not used to riding it, so I'm not like my lines aren't even very straight either. So that's another thing I gotta work on that. <laughs> when we go to customer's house, I need to make it look nice, you know? Um, but I can already tell that I really do like it. It almost turns it into a stand-on mower you know what I mean? Because it just, you know, you stand on it, you back up, you don't have to step off. Um, the concerns that a lot of you guys had posed about this uh, Sulky, you know, you're correct about that. Um, you know, as far as I think it, you know, it will take up some room on the trailer. Uh, and that is true. Um, but I do, I still love how you don't have to step off. And I love that it is a... a you know the mower is still a very light footprint it's it's like it's kind of like a stand-on mower but you have some benefits that you don't have with a stand-on mower the mower is still way lighter than a stand-on mower so that's a huge benefit and as you can see i mean for whatever reason i've never been able to figure it out i've owned two three different stand-on mowers i've owned all kinds of mowers you know like i've had like 20 different mowers um but for some reason and i've had like three walk behinds i think for some reason, walk behind mowers, like the cut they leave is just better than any mower at, around. I don't know what it is about it. I was asking my wife about that. She's like, maybe it's just because it's like a, a big push mower. And I'm like, yeah, maybe it's right. Maybe that's right. So I love it. I'll have to get used to it. What's up? What's up, guys? I know you can't barely see me uh, out here in my wife's car early in the morning, Saturday morning. And I just want to say thank you for watching my video. It's almost over. And happy Father's Day to all you fathers out there. Enjoy a great day of mowing or whatever you got going on. There's going to be a lot of cool videos coming up. So happy Father's Day to all y'all out there. Um, happy Father's Day to my dad. And uh, let's have an awesome day. Thanks for watching my video. See ya.